Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it may be happy days again for Marvel, boys and girls, because there's some interesting rumors going on out there about Kevin Feige very much attempting to save his legacy as supposedly the greatest studio head in history to stop it from turning around and burning down completely and being the guy that failed with the MCU. Well, boys and girls, it looks like things might be changing. And obviously, a lot of people are asking, after the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, what's next for the MCU? I mean, Ryan Reynolds flat out said, he was Marvel's Jesus coming back and trying to fix things. Well, it looks like, boys and girls, there actually might end up being hope for the future of the MCU. And it looks like the MCU is officially over because the MCU might actually end up being saved. And even Kevin Feige now has understood the fact that, hey, go woke, go broke is true. Diversity, inclusion, and equity don't pay the bills. And it does not work. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a bright and happy thing to hear about. About. And trust me, we'd not be reporting on this rumor if it did not come from a very reliable source who is trustworthy and has proven true time and time again. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our dear sweet friend from Film Thread himself, Chris Gore, the absolute legend. That is where this rumor comes from. He's got a lot of details of what's been going on when this happened and what the future of Marvel might actually end up being. And ladies and gentlemen, we might actually see a good Marvel once again. We might get a proper cinematic universe that makes the fans happy, sticks to the characters we all know and love, and actually makes the fans pleased at the audiences will end up making them rich if they're smart and wise about it. So we're going to check out this article from thatparkplace.com, boys and girls, get all the juicy details. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, hit that like button, share it with all your friends, and subscribe or follow if you have not already, because we're inching our way towards 1,100, and I could not do that without every single one of you. Also, leave us a comment in the section down below and let us know. Do you really believe that this is the exact same kind of thing that we saw with Warner Brothers and David Zaslav cleaning house and getting rid of all the woke? Is Kevin Feige finally waking up and doing the exact same thing? Or do you think that does not going to matter? It's too far gone. It's all too broken and it will never, ever be saved. Let us know what you think about all of that down below. So from that parkplace.com and our dear sweet John F. Trent, rumor, Marvel Studios cleaned house and fired activist producers. And oh, dear God, let all of this be true. And ladies and gentlemen, there is no reason Chris Gore would put this out there if it was not true, because Chris Gore is not some simp for the spirit of the age. He is not some acolyte of the cult. He absolutely is not a pixie duster and rags on Disney and everybody else just as much as the rest of us. So trust me, if he's saying this, it's because he believes it to be a hundred percent true. So a new rumor claims that Marvel Studios cleaned house and fired all of its activist producers. This latest rumor comes from Film Threat founder Chris Gore during an appearance on the Critical Drinkers YouTube channel. Gore stated, I do know people who work at Marvel. I mean, the guy has been in the industry forever. We know that this is the guy that gets and invites to these early previews and stuff like that. I do know people who work at Marvel. They have cleaned house. They quietly, months ago, fired all the producers that could be labeled activists. Yes, boys and girls, the people responsible for She-Hulk, the people responsible for Echo, the people responsible for doing all the horrendous things they did to Hawkeye and everything else. Loki, anybody? Literally, literally, poof, fired, all gone. And why wouldn't they be? You've lost this company billions of dollars. Billions of dollars has gone up in smoke for your activism, for your cult. You have sacrificed almost all of Marvel's integrity, all for the acolytes of the cult, all for your simps out there of the spirit of the age. And what did it do? Nothing. It cost you billions of dollars. And I've been saying for a while, Kevin Feige's own ego will not allow this to continue going forward. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I might have actually been right. And honestly, as a fan of a majority of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and wanting it to be good as somebody who loved the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, this is 
is good news, boys and girls. It explains everything we heard about the Blade movie and all the behind the scenes of everybody being fired and everything going in a completely and totally new direction. It's same thing with the Daredevil show about how everybody got fired and the word was from Kevin Feige, make it like Netflix. And that's everything we've seen so far. Bringing back Foggy, bringing back Karen Page, bringing back all the characters that we love that made that show so good. Yes, this all lines up with all of that that we've heard. Boys and girls, Kevin Feige might actually be trying to make Marvel great again. Wouldn't that be cool? They quietly, months ago, fired all the producers that could be labeled activists. Boy, I wonder if they got caught up in any of that force reduction that Disney's been working on trying to save all those billions of dollars. Unlike Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm is lost. They're lost. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars is dead until management changes. And yeah, they're gone. They're far gone. No one over there is seeing the writing on the wall. They are going to go disastrous dumpster fire after disastrous dumpster fire going forward until they are replaced. And guess what? It doesn't matter what they do unless they completely and totally negate the Disney sequel trilogy. It does not matter how good the shows they are that they do. At the end of the day, it will all lead to our hero, Luke Skywalker, sucking on blue titty milk or green a titty milk out of an alien ladies and gentlemen all roads still lead to that no matter how good Nando season one or two was it does not matter even if Cara Dune is brought back it does not matter all lead all roads lead to a broken and destroyed Luke Skywalker he says right here he goes on they're doubling down on all the nonsense over at Lucasfilm oh color us shocked there you will never get anything good out of Lucasfilm and Star Wars that's it It's done. It's finished. But there may still be hope for Marvel. In contrast, he said, Kevin Feige recognizes. Basically, he said, we tried it. It didn't work. Exactly. And it's pretty obvious to anybody out there that it didn't. How was the She-Hulk's ratings? How has any of the Marvel ratings been on their television shows? How did did the Marvels work out at the box office? Yeah, that was wham and power all the way through. And where did that end up? Gone. Poof, failure, cost them hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. He's talking about phase four. It didn't work. No Kang, none of these side characters that don't have legacy of classic characters. And if Deadpool and Wolverine proves anything, you've heard the phrase, male and pale is stale. That was spoken aloud across studios. But if you look at the box office this year, I would say male and pale is money. And that's a phrase that I think more people should adopt. And he's absolutely right. It's true. This works. It's a Deadpool and Wolverine shows you. You take two lead characters that everybody loves and everybody knows, and it pays off. You try to race swap. You try to gender swap you try to force diversity into places it doesn't belong and it will fail miserably every time you want a diverse character give us a storm movie give us the x-men properly done well kind of like what you did with the first season of the animated series but of course that didn't work out because of course you fired that guy and it's all over now additionally they fired people that don't know the comics thank god in heaven finally And supposedly, from what we've heard around the behind the scenes, Feige actually does know the comics. But it's going to be a sea change that will take years. Years. And absolutely, the productions, movie productions, television shows, they take years to get into place. So all of this trash, all of this garbage that these people have been working on for the past few years that's already basically done and in the can, it's all going to have to come out. That damage can't be fixed. It's already been. So the next few years are still going to be bad trash for a few, with the exception of a few bright spots like Deadpool and Wolverine. Overall, it's still going to be bad. But the people responsible for all of that trash and garbage are gone, fired, out the door. He literally pulled a Zaslov and just cleaned house. He did it quietly, although, unfortunately, which trust me, we all would have loved to have seen that out and loud. But of course, you can't have Disney out there admitting that Woke failed. You can't have them admit that diversity failed because then that would be egg on their face and would cause calls the activists out there online to absolutely lose their minds. And Bob Iger still wants to go to the cocktail parties after all, boys and girls. And if, yeah, there we go. Gore also noted, additionally, they fired people that don't know the comics, but it's going to be a sea change that will take years. That's why they are announcing this now. We know we screwed up and failed, but look at what's coming. So we're going to get two bad movies, 
two bad TV shows and maybe a good Fantastic Four film. Well, what movies could he be talking about? Obviously, the next quote-unquote Captain America movie that doesn't have Captain America in it, The Brave New World, which once again, give Falcon his own thing. Falcon deserves his time in the spotlight. Stop screwing him over like that. Anthony Mackie deserves better. Okay, so we know that one's going to be trash. Now, the next one, we're not entirely sure what he could be talking about. It's probably not talking about the Secret Wars movie. It's probably not the uh, not talking about those ones. And we know we've got a couple of more TV shows that are going to be bad, too. So it looked like maybe a good Fantastic Four film. I don't trust that one at all. And honestly, I'm sick and tired of seeing Pedro Pascal in absolutely everything. So Marvel Studios did make a huge change at the end of last year on its television and show side. The Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt shared the company was revamping its development process. Showrunners will write pilots and show Bibles. The days of Marvel shooting an entire series from She-Hulk to Secret Invasion, then looking at what's working and what's not, are done. Which is all stuff we talked about. We knew that changes were going to happen behind the scenes. That they were doing things differently. And apparently, according to Chris Gore, they got rid of all of the woke activists as well. He added, we need executives that are dedicated to this medium, that are going to focus on streaming, focus on television, because those are two different forms. And it just goes on and on to repeat a bunch more stuff that we had talked about as far going back as well. As far as employees who do not know the comics being exercised from the company, it's unclear how accurate this claim is, giving Jack Sheff the showrunner of Agatha All Along, and she's notorious for being clueless about Marvel's source material. Right, but Agatha All Along is one of those ones that's going to be hot garbage. It's already been done. It's been in development for years. What do you want to bet the people behind Agatha All Along will never produce another Disney Marvel series? I'd actually forgotten that Agatha All Along was even coming at this point, boys and girls. So yes, we're going to have a rough time for Marvel for the next few years because we've still got a lot of trash and garbage to get cleaned out and put out there into the ether and just let it all forget about it. That's why I've been saying for a while that Secret Wars was going to be Get Kevin Feige's way to get rid of the trash and get rid of all the stuff that's not working and move forward what actually is. And it turns out, yeah, he's actually doing that. All of the activists that have pushed all of the agenda into all of your shows and all of your movies, Eternals, anyone? My God almighty in heaven. And Feige's even already admitted there are no plans for a sequel to that one either. And why wouldn't there be? Those movies were disastrous dumpster fires. And at the end of the day, even if Kevin Feige's not intentionally pushing back against the woke ideology the infection that has been going over inside of Marvel for far too long, at least he realizes at the end of the day, two plus two still equals four. Those dogs won't hunt, and your diversity nonsense is not selling at the box office or with the audiences on streaming. And guess what? It's true. Go woke, go broke exists for a reason, and now Kevin Feige finally sees the writing on the wall, has cleaned house, and boys and girls, it might be a few years, but we might actually see Marvel be made great again. And who knows? We might be giving the credit to Kevin Feige. Didn't think I ever say that, but as always, make the fans happy, and we'll make you rich. Screw us over and ignore us. We'll ignore you and watch you to burn, burn down to the ground in a disastrous dumpster fire that, guess what? You did it to yourself. Learn your lesson, Kevin Feige. Be smart, and we'll make you rich.